Good morning. So today, uh, coming on with uh, Stellar Pixie next. Uh, let's see where we were on the last session. Ah, yes. Uh, we were starting to work on a um, on the listing of snippets, uh, trying to get some started. Uh, let's get the uh, Oh, where are we? Let's go here. Right. Into the GUI. Let's get uh, the GUI up. In dev mode. And then uh, we'll see where we are. Okay. That's right. So uh, we've got these little pills at the moment. Um, little buttons as such. They're not buttons, but um, the little indicators of hotkeys that we will eventually um hopefully uh get going um and then we have a list but it's not working the way we want at the moment because we haven't actually made the control uh scrollable yet um so let's do that let's do that over into the id area we'll reduce it right down Stick it in the corner. Okay. So we have a list component, which is in this area here underneath the box. You can see in the screen, um, we've got a snippets. Um, if we've got some search results from the input, which is in the search box, uh, we're going to have the uh, snippets list with the results. And I think um, there's a couple of things we need to do here. Um, I think I, I need to switch this to something which is more, more better recognized as a list. So I just put a div around just to give us something, an anchor to placeholder. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is make it a an ordered list. And then I'm going to make these items instead of a paragraph, I'm going to make them list items. And then, well, if we save that, it's going to be a mess. There we go. Um, so it's still going to be scrolled. So we need to do that. We also need to get rid of these extra bits and bobs here and get some placeholders and things going. Got lots to do, but it's a start. So let's do some style. Um, so the first thing is uh, in the unordered list, I think I can do list style none. Get rid of those. Um, and I think we need to do some padding there. Um, or is it margins? I should probably double check what we have there because there's, there's actually an offset. Um, so let's do this. We're going to the So if we inspect one of these, we can get some information. Okay. 
Okay, I'm on a wanted list. Okay. Right, well, there's a couple of things I want to do. So, before I even start playing with, playing with the padding, because I'm going to be changing the size of this list, I should probably get it working the way I want to. Um, so yeah, let's go back. Um, and I want to do the same thing that I did in the add snippet screen, but with the um, text area, whereby, I know I did it by body. Um, I want to change the flex layout and hmm. So I do want that, but I do want I do need to do lots of other stuff first as well. So the unordered list at the moment is not in flex at all. That is and the screen it is doing column. That's not in. Mm. Actually. It might work. And I need so, hmm, yeah. I need to have Overflow hidden, but then change that to overflow Y scroll. We've still got the other one there, yeah, because I still need to sort out the flex there. But this has at least got an idea that it should be scrolled. It's just not quite right yet, because it's not in the flex. Um, hmm, okay. Because it's a component, it's not in the same flex layout. Now that means I need to do, I need to hoist it up back into the DOM as such. And I think, if I'm right, I think that's 
Is that a flex fragment? Uh, not flex, um, svelte fragment. Something like that. Ages since I used that either. I'm stuck up for that. Uh, that's different. That's not what I want. Um, That might work if no, I shouldn't do that. Yeah, don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to just um, do it with CSS because I don't really want to be doing slots and things to hoist it up. Um, so. I will can I I'll do that, but what if? I don't think this will work, but I just want to give it a little play because I haven't done it before. Oops. I'm not sure I can do this, but can I do this? Take out the other one. I just want to have a little play with this. No, okay. Yeah, it's not found in the DOM. It doesn't kind of transpose its inherent class or anything. It's a shame. It's taken it out though. Mm. 
Okay. Right, instead then, um, just a couple of things I want to check. Well, first of all, I definitely need those back. Can I get away without doing a wrapper? So if I do display flex, okay. So it is now a flex thing. There we go. And it's been taken into the correct thing there. We do have this, unfortunately, still. So I need to find a way of dropping that out. Let's make sure there's not an artifact. Oh, I think it is. Okay, because that wasn't over here, was it? I didn't have that at all. No, can't scroll. It was just inside. That's good. I just need to sort out the side there. That's good. All right, so we've got the right stuff going on there. We just need to clean up. It's interesting that it's using the entire thing there. I didn't think that would happen straight away. Ah, I might have to do... I'm just gonna try something out for a second. If I do flex... Uh, one zero auto. Is that going to break things? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm just worried about the fact that at some point I'm probably going to want to put something down the bottom here, a button of some sort, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So we're going to need some things here. We are going to want a flex. items come on a gap thing this might not work yeah it did okay so we have a gap of one rem Top one. It's getting cut off though.
try something here. Uh, put some star in here. And we'll do... Li... First of type. Margin top. Top, please. Thank you. Um, that's big one rim. Yeah, it's a bit much. Oops. Okay, that's all right. And then at the bottom, we're going to need something similar. Maybe. Well, once I get some style on here, we'll see what we actually need. Because we haven't got the style in yet. So, if I go to... Um, so, the style in here is rubbish. We haven't got... Oops. Um, it's lost all its styling in this version. Um, but if I look at my website for it, uh, yeah, if I do this one, oh, I did leave it. outlines okay that's why i'm not seeing them i thought i had lines on it hmm. okay um but anyway you can see that um i did have each of the um to scroll it there um each of the abbreviations in its own little button as well um, so let's do, let's do that. Um, so this is when I want to steal that styling again. So really, I don't want to call it number button anymore. How about... Let's call it shortcut button. So I think that's no, it hasn't fixed it. Oh yeah, it's just renamed it. It's not renamed it.
cars. Don't want it called. Let's refactor that again, actually. I want a lower cost, lower, lower case C there. Okay. It's a little bit better, I think. So it's a shortcut button now. And it has... Just text. That's correct. Do it. So we've got some text coming in. We display it there, but if the text is null, I'm going to change that. I'm just going to do length. Oops. Why is that complaining? one okay and then on the usage text um, and just be empty oops Hmm, not great, but... Actually, let's do this. If it's a shortcut, then it should be a shortcut. And then in here, that's what we'll call it. Makes sense. Yes, just do it. Ding, ding, ding. Shortcut. So let's just check that. That should work still. It's the same. 
and then the abbreviation here. So that's going to be another shortcut button, but with a shortcut equal to the abbreviation like that, and then we can get rid of that. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> we we'll just do that anyway. So there we go. And then this has got to be um, abbreviated. So I probably need to stick that in a span. And I'll give it a class just for more recognizable. Now I've got to remember the syntax for this. So um, on the body, we want to, I can't remember. Uh, something about ellipses. Right, gonna have to look it up. Um, spell that wrong. E lip. You'll find it hopefully, won't it? Did you mean lips? Maybe. That's not what I wanted, is it? I'm thinking of the wrong word. Um Not working this morning. Uh, let's look for um, do something like that. See if it finds something. Oh, I know what it is. It's like one of the overflow things, isn't it? Yes. Okay, that's what ellipsis. Yes, I was right. I was just not saying it. Spelling it right. <laughs> okay.
that's what I want. Uh, I just need to set the um, the text to basically, uh, presumably to no wrap, and then do the thing. Why is that double dot? Huh. Okay, but I want that. So I don't think this will work um, because we haven't got any width there. So, um, so what do we do? Text wrap none. No. Maybe I just need to set. Oh. Right. This uh, is this flexed. Now let's try. Um, No, I don't know. Right. Okay, well, I need to work out how I stop it from my from wrapping. Oh, <laughs> I think this is it. Okay, that's what I wanted. Right. I need to make. I basically need to make sure it doesn't wrap, but then. I need to make sure that it stays in its bounds as well. So I've got to stop it from doing that push back down there. Because at the moment it'll be doing all kinds of hide things just behind the scenes. Oh, I need to pull that back out as well. I still need to do that. So looking at the docs again. Hmm. Fade might be nice. It's experimental though. No, I'll stick to ellipses. Okay. So 
So we've got overflow hidden to make sure we don't get any kind of scroll bars on it and stuff. Even though we shouldn't anyway. Probably inherited. Um, but now we need to sort out this. See if there's any other guides here before I do that. Hmm, I could flex it into a thing. Um, let's do, let's muck about with the width here. How do I, if I do that, it's going to go nuts. That's probably what it's already got. But if I do this, Makes no difference. Okay, it's definitely flex stuff here going on. I need to look at what we've got going on here because it's not playing nice. Hmm. Maybe what I need to do is make the list item into flex so that I can deal with it. So let's do um, and I oops display flex. It'll be row by default. So that pops it in there. We'll do we'll do gap again here. Uh 0.25 RAM is probably enough. It's maybe better, especially once I've got rid of that space to the side. Um, and then, so we've got the cutoff working now. I need to line items center so that's much better now and that should work and we've got that off sound them as well which we don't have in the existing version so that's okay got a list been cut off which is fine let's um let's try something so li 
nth child even. Let's do background color bar. Um, what we got available? Maybe input. Background. That's not horrendous, but it might clash. Right, we've got margin. I just want to make sure it's zero to make sure that doesn't do anything daft. And then I'm going to do padding. Point two five. M. Okay. And then I think on the snippets list is cell. We can take that right down now. There we go. Let's put that up to Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no gap. It's a little bit better there. All right now I need to find out where this extra stuff is coming from. <clears throat> ah, of course, the actual unordered list. Is it a margin? No, it's a padding. Oh, it's anywhere. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not loving the alternate style there. Although the problem is we don't have a border radius, so is that gonna do anything? It does. It's not horrendous, horrendous.
we'll see what happens when I start implementing selection which is not going to be today because I'm running out of time but does the do A little bit too much room above, I think. Just a fraction. So They've got their pad in a margin set, okay. It's the unordered list. There we go. That's a little bit neater. It does the ellipsis. I think maybe, maybe I'll take off the alternate highlight. It looks just a little bit too busy. I'll, um, I'll just comment it out for the moment. Oops. Yeah, I much prefer that. And now we need to get the, the tabbing working. Mm. So I don't actually really want the tab to the clear button. What I really want is a tab going directly to the list but it doesn't even take focus at the moment, so that's something to be worked on. Um, but yeah, uh, we're getting there though. Oh, it doesn't look horrendous. Um, once I get some functionality into the list, uh, we should be good. Okay. Um, all right, let's actually save this off, I think, uh, for good measure. Um, so what have we got open here? Right, well, we don't need that open. Snippets list will keep for the moment. This and this and the items for sure. Shortcut button We're done with. 
says. Um, and then the globals we can just close up at the moment. Okay. Good stuff, right. Let's commit this all. Okay. There we go. Saved. Um, that's us for today, I think, because uh, I've got to stand up in a couple of minutes. Um, so uh, that was good. Um, we've got the beginnings of a snippets list component working there uh, with some little shortcut buttons on it. All non non functioning for that yet. Yeah. Um, so next time we need to start looking at how to get keyboard into action with it. Um, and of course mouse as well. Um, so that we can actually do things like when you select it, um, do a thing. And we've also got to work out how to do the uh, weather. We're going to use this same format for um, also doing edit and delete of the snippets so we'll see it's starting to look a little bit iffy on that font but i'm not sure we'll see anyway uh until next time um thanks for watching uh and you take care bye